Hi there, uh, this video is all about soil formation. So our learning goal um, by the end of this sort of short video is to look at how soil is formed. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to break down the video into four sections. I'm going to quickly go through what soil is. I'm going to explain how soil is formed and explain why soil is so important for humans and then explain how humans can damage soils um, and then next video we'll look at how we can preserve, conserve um, soils. Well first of all let's have a look at soil. A lot of people call it dirt, it's far from just plain old boring dirt. Soils are a complex mixture of gases, minerals, water, organic matter, living organs and heaps of other things too. And it's because of this complex mixture why soil is really, really important and we have to manage it properly. Um, because of living organisms, organisms in the soil, it's technically alive and it does move. It's a living thing. So we must understand that soil is important and is an important part of life. Um, soil has many characteristics. Um, we can have some soils that are slightly red in colour, some soils that are a little alkaline, a little acidic, um, but that depends on the bedrock, which is a layer of rock underneath the soil. So, for example, if the bedrock, and it's also called the parent rock, um, if it's granite, it produces lighter um, soil in colour, and if it's basalt, it produces darker soils. Um, a good example of looking at soil, particularly in Australia, that red um, soil that we get in the middle of Australia, well, underneath that would be um, obviously the mineral with iron, and that iron gives that soil the reddish colour. And while it gets so many lightning strikes, because the lightning is attracted to the iron in the soil. Um, also, because it's quite dry, the soil is pretty dry and has similar characteristics to um, sand. However, there are lots of little local variables um, that actually affect the types of soil as well. So what you've got to remember, um, in general, the darker the soil, the more fertile. We're looking for a black soil. It's very, very um, important. And there are lots of different types of soil and it can vary from place to place. Um, but what we do know is that soils are formed in layers and that's what's really important about soil formation. Um, soil takes about 500 years to produce an inch of topsoil, so an inch is about that big. It takes about 500 years to make that and that topsoil is what we see you know, on the surface and that's where grass grows. That's your topsoil. It's important for farming and life. Um, like I've said, there, it's important for, produce, uh, for providing habitats to animals um, as well as plants. So um, it's very important for that. It stores about 10% of the world's carbon emissions. So that nutrient cycling, carbon cycling is a very important part of. And um, it is the base of the food chain for obviously animals that live on Earth, um, not um, in, in water. So soil is classified to be at the bottom of the food chain, but without it, there would be certainly no life on Earth. Soil is formed by basically the weathering down of rock, and like I said, it takes a long period of time. I've also said that it forms layers, and we also call those horizons and they are called O, A, E, B, C, and R, and they found in that sort of order. O or, um, is the top horizon or layer, that's the top soil, and at the bottom, um, the bottom layer or horizon as we call it, is the bedrock. Um, basically, worms in that top soil um, are really important because they're the ones that decompose any dead or organic matter and turn um, the topsoil into nutrient-rich uh, soil. So worms there are very important. And so is the um, evidence of water as well, because it helps break down any minerals and chemicals in that soil. So that's how good quality soils form. It's the weathering of bedrock, and then obviously the tiger go, the 
um, more worms, more water is really important for that formation of soil. And like I said, it takes a long period of time, over 500 years, just to produce an inch of topsoil. It's important for humans for lots of different reasons. Like I've said already, it supports life on Earth. Um, making, um, having a good understanding of soil means that we can look after and protect it. Um, and keeping our soils fertile obviously provides food. Um, we've obviously learned and understood how soils work and we can help poorer soils by adding fertilizer, which is fine, and making it productive. And that's where we obviously grow um, food. Um, that's where we obviously use the minerals underneath the soil, like the topsoil for mining, um, farming, construction are really important. So soil provides jobs for people and it's a really important characteristic. Without soil, we just, you know, there would be no life. We damage soils in another in a number of ways. Basically, what we do, we upset that complex mixture by either adding too many fertilizers or reducing the amount of nutrients and worms, water get into that soil by building on it, um, adding extra fertilizer, and um, killing off vegetation as well, and reducing the amount of soil. Um, and also how we use the land as well. So if we're putting too many cattle on the soil, it, it will kill it eventually. So that's called overgrazing. So there are lots of different ways and those ways are always changing as well. Um, that's the end of um, why soils are so important. Hopefully you've learned a lot from this and why they are so important to humans and for the existence of the, um, of the world. All right. Thanks and can you make sure you like the video and subscribe.